The first time I got involved with surgery was when I was eight years old, when my dad brought me to his work in the hospital for summer practice. Back then, in the 80s, surgery has been going through major changes. Large incisions were being replaced by small holes that surgeons used to bring people back to life using thin instruments under the control of video cameras, X-ray, ultrasound or even a combination of these. But still, it was necessary to damage the tissues to get to the location. The surgeon's impact was immediately irreversible, regardless of whether he acted correctly or not. Will there come a time when a surgeon's scalpel becomes hard and sharp only when the surgeon gives it the right command? Maybe this scalpel will appear immediately in the right place, on the inside, without cutting it from the outside. When I was a little girl, I had a dream to become a bioengineer and to create interesting things to help patients. One of them was a small robot that could be launched into a vessel in patient's hand and with a joystick it could reach the brain and remove a tumor. I remember the day when we operated on a craniopharyngioma on an eight-year-old boy. And at that moment, when we spent eight hours in order to reach the tumor, and then about three or four hours to remove it, the thought clicked in my head that perhaps there should be a device to reach this there faster without pain, blood and anesthesia. It would be possible to communicate with the patients at the same time. And when I was on an internship in the United States of America, I saw a similar technology. I thought it was my childhood dream. FUS is an abbreviation for the focused ultrasound. When we use multiple sources of ultrasound and focus them on a single point using special equipment, we get a concentration of powerful energy in one tiny, tiny point. We use this energy to heat it. We heat it to a certain temperature. There is a safe temperature threshold when the cell does not collapse but loses its function for a period of time, say two to four minutes. This helps us to make sure that we are at the right spot and the treatment is still safe. The cell can be heated to a therapeutic temperature when protein denaturation occurs. There are several components in this device that I have thought about for many years. And then I made a decision for myself that personal dreams must come true. The path from the beginning to the first operation may take about two years or even more. From 2018 to 2020, we worked hard to bring this idea to life and get the necessary equipment. This is a business project, an investment project, this is a search for investors, the search for funding, search for location, the search for suppliers. This is a design project of the chosen location. You can see it all behind my back. I mean, it's a huge work when you do not count hours, you just work and feel like you need to take just one little step, a little step, and then it all will work out. We are pleased to inform you that at least our center has received a license. We were ready to launch our project in March, in the beginning of 2020. But suddenly 
the unexpected happened. COVID-19 pandemic An emergency of an international level. The World Health Organization is ready to convene an extraordinary meeting of the Emergency Committee. It has been established that the causative agent of viral pneumonia of unknown origin in Wuhan is a new coronavirus. And now is the time to put it on. If it was previously believed that the virus is not transmitted from person to person, now it has been officially announced that it is. As of today, Russia has temporarily closed the border to contain the spread of the virus. The border is open for entry only for those of our citizens who are evacuated from different countries, according to the lists of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Nobody knew how long we would be under the lockdown. How long will it last? And will there be an end to this plight? There were about 20 patients on our list that we started working with the previous year. Each of these patients was looking forward to our opening. The quarantine could not stop us. Ufa cardiac surgeons together with a professor from Italy performed online heart surgery. Fortunately for us, at the Republican Cardiology Center, Professor Igor Buzaev performed a joint operation with Professor Eustachio Honorato from Italy. A unique team of doctors is standing at the operating table, cardio and x-ray surgeons, engineers, hybrid imaging specialists. Professor Eustachio Honorato from Italy remotely advises Russian colleagues via the video call. The operation was a success. The patient survived and the whole affair received a huge response in the media. They were talking about it on every TV channel. And we decided that this was an opportunity to show the inside tech company that here and now, in the 21st century, digital technologies in medicine have developed so that it is possible to carry out even such complex operations without a person physically present at the location. Therefore, we asked the company that manufactures this equipment to organize a training session to show how the equipment works and how to use it properly. Our MRI room and our control room turned into a broadcasting studio with lots of cameras. We established a connection and each piece of equipment went online and one could use a link to enter the system and carry out the treatment with us. After a bit of consideration, the company decided to support us, conduct a training and taught us to operate on phantoms. And after about 20 or 30 successful surgeries on phantoms, none of which was injured, we sent a letter to the company again and requested an attempt to conduct therapy for the first live patient. After a while, we received a positive response. And on May 5, 2020, we performed an operation on our first patient. I will tell everyone I know, all my friends and relatives, that there are people who are able to save us. Thank you so much. To all of you. More than 40 operations have already been performed at the International Medical Center named after Vyacheslav Buzaev. This is an experience of more than 40 happy patients who got rid of tremors. Thanks to the work of ambitious people, the time has come when operations can be done without a single incision, without pain and with a guarantee of highest quality. MRI-guided focused ultrasound treatment is like a soft scalpel that appears inside and becomes sharp only when the surgeon knows exactly that the procedure goes according to the plan. And the team of the center is already looking to conquer new frontiers of modern non-invasive surgery.